freaking out. This is 20p. That's crazy. It's actually brought me to tears how happy I am. It's gonna be humane, you don't have to worry. Look how thick the red lentils make it. I was hell nervous then. <laughs> Still got enough lentils to feed an army. This here is gonna, it's, it's a good starting point for 20 quid, come on. And I'm not even a cook. It's crazy, how crazy is that? Okay, so here we are at the front of Tesco's once again. Anyone would think I'm sponsored by Tesco, but I'm actually not. It's just a really helpful supermarket. So we're gonna do a super cheap shop. So we, the other day we, we took George out to the shops and we sort of splashed out. We got him all the mock meats, all this like fancy vegan food. Now we're gonna do this on a super budget. So I've got about 20 quid. We're gonna to try to do it for about 20 quid. We're gonna go in the store and see what we can get. See how many meals we can make. See how much food we can get on a cheap little vegan budget. Let's go do it. Boom, let's do this. We can take this trolley here. Yes, we don't have any other trolley. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go hunting. This is how vegans hunt. We'll go to the fruit and veg aisle. Okay, here we go. Uh, where's the uh, cheapest onions we can get? 85p per kilo. Then, So that's about 50p worth of uh, onions. These are 50p for 1.5 kilos. Carrots, let's go. We can get about 50p worth of, carrot, of broccoli here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go, now we're talking, now we're talking. That's about 80p worth of spuds. There you go. Oh, excuse me, sorry, Darth. 75p for six little tomatoes. All right, let's roll. Remember, we're going on a budget, so we'll get some budget lettuce here. 40p. 36p, suitable for vegans, boom. We might want some buns, we're gonna make some cheap burgers, okay? Cheap vegan burgers, for the, this is for the budget. Where are we going, where are we going? Okay, these are 16p each, these rolls. We'll grab them anyway. We spent a, a, dot, a pound 36 on bread. We got some Stockwell strawberry jam for 28p. So we can have that on the, on, we can have that on the toast. All right, we'll see if we can get some cheap peanut butter. 85p for peanut butter, that's, that's pretty cheap. Remember, we're not getting any of the goodies. We're not getting any goodies. We're doing a, we're doing a strict budget. Okay. Now, this is 50p for a litre of soy, 50p. Boom. Let's go. All right, so we've got um, one week's worth of oats for 75p. This is a week's worth of oats. If you had 150 grams a day, 10p a day, 11p a day. Crazy. See, see what I'm doing here? We're in the, in the pasta oil. This is 20p. This is 20p. I'm freaking out, this is 20p. That's crazy. We, I think we should splash out. I'm gonna get two packets of pasta as well. This is 39p, Hardy Food Co, 39p. This Hardy Food Co have, has spaghetti too. This is 20p, that's crazy. 30p, we might want some beans on toast. 30p, boom. This is a, a good way to get a lot of nutrition. Vitamin C, you might want to get more fruit than that. Let's have a look at this. This here is one kilogram for two quid 50. So an extra 50p, I've got an extra uh, 500 grams. So we're gonna take that. That's a lot of nutrition, that's our fruit. Here's a little tip. This is one quid, it's in a bag. It's, it's quick, it's very quick, it's all chopped. But we got, the, we got the, the cheaper onions, but if you wanna spend a quid, you can get 500 grams of chopped onions very quick. Just put it in a pan. This is 175 for 450 grams of mint this stuff here. It's gangster, so. Check out this one. Eight burgers, 175, okay? These are the more expensive stuffs. You can leave these out, make it even cheaper. But we've got some burger buns, we wanna make burgers. 40p for ketchup, 40p, this ketchup here. Curry powder, one quid, let's roll. If you really wanted something really quick, these are 35p, and you get enough to feed a couple of people. But uh, we're doing, this is 35p, we could probably get one of these, but because we're doing it on a super budget, um, We'll show you what you go to get. You can get white rice if you want, but uh, Tesco Easy Cook Brown Rice. This is one quid fifty for one kilo. Pretty cheap. So we're gonna get a kilo of these. These are about two twenty-five. I think that's it. So we've got um, the rice for the curry, the lentils, the vegetables. Um, we've got burgers, burger buns. We've got breakfast here. All right. All right, let's rock and roll. 220, boom. So we're up to 10.
Whoa. You know, we, we, we're pretty, you know, we could have, we could have put, a, we, well, we could have put something away, but I reckon 20, 20 quid, 90 P is pretty good. Let's pay for it. All right, now we're going to go back and uh, show you how to cook all this up. This whole 20 quid, 20 quid worth of vegan food. Let's go. It's warm in here, eh? Alright, so here we go, we're in the vegan kitchen here. Boom. And we've got this 20 quid shop. Pretty cheap, mate. Pretty cheap. Look at these weeks worth of oats. We've got so many carrots here, like, well, that is a lot of carrots. Probably won't use all them, but what you can do is peel them up and get a cheap pot of hummus, probably hummus probably 60p or something, or you can just get a 50p can of chickpeas blended up. But like, we've got, look at this, this was 20p, I still can't believe that. So what we're gonna do, like, we're gonna show you a bunch of stuff that you can do with this here. There's probably multiple variable things that you could do here, but we're gonna give you some good nuts and bolts meals. Like, look, I would say this would feed two people for nearly a week. Like, come on, maybe or at least at least one big, big guy for a, a, a week 20 quid i would say i would say one person safely but you know it's a it's a good decent amount of food so let's start cooking them up we're going to give you some breakfast ideas with this and a couple of lunch and dinner ideas and yeah look 20 quid mate if you've got an iphone there if you've got you know you're splashing out on new clothes you're splashing out a new pair of shoes you go to the pub for a few beers where you spend 20 quid at the pub you could even make this 30 quid 40 quid well you could get it you could get a bit of vegan ice cream on top of this a bit of vegan cheese as well you know like come on get your priorities straight if you're opposing animal cruelty you know, you don't like eating animal body parts and, and, and secretions, you think it's wrong, then, you know, splashing out on a bit for food is, is not really a big deal. But I understand some people are on a very strict budget, coronavirus times as well. We've got to think of people who are low-income families, and this here is a really good place to start. Lots of starches. Only a little bit of the mock meats, the cheaper ones. But, yeah, let's get to it. But, yeah, let's get to it. But, yeah, but yeah let's get to it. Let's start cooking this up. Boom. Watch your little fingies. Nice and quick, you know. But boom, 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 boom. boom. We're still left with two large onions for the rest of the week. I'm actually uh, crying because of how cheap this shopping haul was here. It actually brought me to tears. How happy I am. Nothing to do with the onions, by the way. Speed peeler, boom. Don't mess around when you're peeling potatoes, but. Just boom. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut these into nice little cubes, cause like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to like have things cooking forever. I just, I don't, so I wanna put these nice little chunks here. So they, they don't, they'll take about 10 minutes to cook, 15 minutes to cook. I don't like to waste too much time. I'm crying over how cheap this was. I'm gonna have so many carrots left. It's, 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 it's crazy, it's crazy. Yeah, apparently carrots feel this, so we've got to be gentle. Have to do it humanely. I think what about the plants, chef? Yeah? You farmers viciously take out the ground. What about them? Don't you think you're causing suffering to the plants? If you say that I abuse animals, you abuse plants. You can hear the carrot screaming as I'm cutting it. Maybe we'll prep up a little bit of the broccoli. Yeah, we'll put a. Bro put a little bit broccoli. Run away onion. Don't try to run for me. Don't you try to run, all right? It's gonna be humane, you don't have to worry. We're just steaming up a little bit of broccoli. Like, like you know, I think a little handful of broccoli with each meal is fine. Like, like I know some of you don't like vegetables, that's all right, I, I do. I think they're important, you know. If you're gonna eat plant-based, make sure you eat a variety of different plant foods. Supplement with the B12. Um, but you know, make sure you get a whole variety of whole foods if you can. Like, if you've got to go for the cheaper stuff, this was only 50p. I think the, the broccoli was the broccoli was super cheap, so don't worry about it. It's, not, it's really cheap. Um, you can even mix it in with your curry so that the kids don't notice it or whatever. But get it in there. You can just put a little bit of water here if you don't like oil. This is one calorie per spray. So it was sunflower oil. It's not going to hurt you. I mean, but you can just use a little tiny bit of water if you don't like. Now. 
What I'm actually doing is I'm gonna cook up a whole batch of bolognese, but with the lentil curry, I'm only gonna cook up a small portion of it because we don't need to cook all this right now. But like, you could cook up this whole kilo, kilo bag of lentils in a big pot and add all the potatoes, all, all of the ingredients and make a big batch. And then you could just put them in little containers and, containers and then just cook up a little bit of brown rice when you want it. We don't have a big enough pot for the, um, the, the, the big curry, but just an idea for you. And lentils are a really good source of protein, um, fiber. This will cook up to a lot. So I'm just gonna put about that much in. This is for about two people. And then you still got this. Look, this here would feed you for a week easily. I don't know, it's just, it cooks up to a lot, absorbs a lot of water. Okay, we're gonna add, this is mild, Tesco's mild curry powder. So we're about to add the meat-free the meat mince. It says vegan on the front, so don't worry, it says vegetarian on the back, but it's actually vegan. Um, so this is what it looks like. Very nice. Very nice, made of soy. And we're going to add that in. Don't be afraid of soy, that's propaganda. People saying, oh, soy this, soy that. Most of the soy is actually fed to chickens and cows and pigs. You know, and the pasta, pasta, pasta. This is how you open pasta, did you see that? Of course. Yeah, <laughs> did you get that camera guy? Okay, so with the pasta, you know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll just do half. I think half a packet of pasta feed, feeds like two big people, two super hungry people, or three normal hungry people. So we'll just, this is the trick with the pasta. Always on a rolling boil. Rolling boil always. You season the water, Italiano style. You grab the pasta, you do a little twist. Boom, let it drop in. This amount of rice, one kilo of rice, this will last one person all week. And you know, we've still got a penne and stuff left too. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck a burger on as well. Um, I haven't had these burgers before. We're gonna try them out, meat free. They were pretty cheap. Like, you got you got eight of these burgers for I think about a quid 70, something like that. Eight burgers. You know, and we got these, these were a quid. So, you know, they're six. So you can have a couple double burgers. But you know, we've essentially got six, six little burgers here for, you know, nearly just about three quid. So six for three quid, what's that, 50p a burger? Pretty good, pretty good. You could even, if you want to splash out, you could get two, spend two quid, get a block of cheese and you could slice up some vegan cheese and put that on the burger too. Now, I don't expect these to be like beyond burgers, you know, I don't have my expectations that high, but if you're on a budget, I don't mind, I don't mind mock meats, even if they're the cheaper ones, I like all of it, uh, I'm not very fussy. Some people are, but I'm not. As long as an animal didn't have their head hacked off, in a slaughterhouse, terrified animal. I mean, I don't mind. So yeah, try these ones out if you're on a budget. Here's a little trick. So we, we cut up the broccoli before and we've got this little pan here. So we're gonna do, save some time. We're gonna chuck it on top there. Bam, check it out. This knife is vegan as long as you, you use it on vegetables and fruits. So look, we've got all this lettuce here. So we're not gonna use heaps of it. We're actually only making one burger, so. <laughs> We can make a bunch of burgers, but we're just gonna, we're just making one. So we've got a, a little lettuce leaf here. We're gonna roll it up. And we're gonna make it little shreds of lettuce. So we can get it, oh. So we've got a little tomato here. These tomatoes were cheap, 75p for six. Was this 40p pasta sauce? Let's have a taste on the lid. Mmm, not the bad. Just put a little bit of pepper in there. Oh, nice. We did a little uh, costume change here. This this t-shirt here, shout out to Robbie Lockie from Plant Based News for getting me this one. Um, little upgrade, got some nice writing on the back. Nice, this is for World, World Plant Milk Day, they, they made these shirts, so really cool. We'll show you where to get them here, the little, put a little Instagram here, but they're cool. They've got a, the facts for dairy on the back. All right, let's continue. Look at that. Look at that burger, mate. What you can do is a little trick and not taught to me. Is if you bolognese, use a little bit of pasta water to, just to loosen it up a little bit. Mm. It's really nice, this mince. If you want to thicken your, your, your sauce up, is to get a little bit of vegan gravy and put that in there or some stock powder. What's going on here? 
Stock powder makes everything taste amazing, but we're on a budget because stock powder is about another two quid. But if you want to splash out, get some vegan stock powder. We'll show you which type of brand here, vegan stock powder. You can sprinkle that in your curry. It'll make it taste amazing. Oh, nice. Um, this is the burger. Now we are going to cheat because I had this in the fridge, but you know, you don't have to have this, but it's going to make it hell nice. So this is, these are about two quid, I think. Um, it's one of my favorite vegan mayos. It's one of my favorite vegan mayos, sorry. And this, this, this ketchup here was 50p. Crazy, 50p. Boom, chuck that on, check it out. A little budget burger. Nice, nice. Porridge oats, super healthy, high fiber. Bunch of protein in here too. Like, super good for you. Oats are really, really healthy. If you don't like oats, you can get yourself some nice uh, cereal. You know, a bit of cheap cereal, a bit of Weetabix or something like that. We're gonna do a little serving of oats. Now, I don't measure my oats, but we're gonna say it's about 150 grams. Five, 600 calories worth of oats. You know, this here will last you a week. It's a kilogram of oats. Last, you know, a, an exercising person, you know. Be, be really good. So this is how I do my oats. I just chuck a bit of boiling water on. We'll grab some frozen berries, a serving. You know, because this has got to last us all week, remember? This here, which is 250 for a kilogram of berries. And berries, if you want bang for your buck in terms of nutrition, you know, a small amount of berries will give you a lot of nutrition. This is a very quick breakfast. This will take a minute. We're gonna throw in the pasta just like Nono used to do. Boom. We've got our oats. Now, if you wanted to make it a little bit, you know, a little bit creamy, you can have a, have a little bit of our soy milk in there if you want. You know, I personally don't really care about that. But yeah, you go make it a little bit creamy for yourself. Another thing that wasn't on the budget, but I've got some here, which I, I'll actually use. And this here lasts you, this, a bag like that will last you like, you know, a month. It's flaxseed. Get your omega threes in. I know this wasn't on, this wasn't on, but if you splashed out, got some agave syrup, just boom. There's two little meals, and I'm not even a cook. I don't even know how to bloody cook. Now we're gonna make a little bit faster for the cameraman to try. Woo. Chuck on a bit of broccoli, see? Now you've made it a bit more nutritious here. There you go. Make it a little bit more saucy if you like it more saucy. Make it how you like. It's just an idea. These are just ideas, okay? I'll just let you know that it's a vegan sin not to put nutritional yeast on your pasta, but we'll flash it up on the screen. <laughs> this is off budget, so we're being a bit naughty here. I think it's about a quid or two, but this is a uh, Tesco's free from hard cheese. If you can find this, look at that sprinkle, slow-mo the sprinkle, making a rain. So with this rice here, this is over 3000 calories of rice and you can cook this up as you go. This is easy cooked brown rice, it's healthy. You can use white rice if you want, whatever rice you want. Less packaging. This one here was 35p. This is um, this is 400 calories of rice, so enough for a big guy, or you know, if you're not as hungry, this could probably feed too um, with the curry. But you can microwave this up real quick. This is only 35p for this, and this it was a quid something. We'll flush it up. I can't remember. But this will, will give you a lot more uh, cooked rice. This will give you over 3,000 calories. So this is a week's worth for one person, I would say. But anyway, we're gonna do this one because it's gonna be quicker. Boom. Boom. I know some people are scared of microwaves, but uh, I used to be like that as well, but nothing to worry about. Do whatever you want. If you don't like microwaves, just cook it up on the stove. Okay, so we got a little serving of rice here. Bum, 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 bum. And then we're gonna bring in the curry. Oh, look at that curry. Look how thick the red lentils make it. Look how thick. You can add greens in here. You can add whatever you like in here. But remember, we're just keeping it simple. We're just keeping it simple for everyone at home. That was too much. I don't know. I, I, I've ruined the presentation on that. This one here's good though. Okay, so this is what we cooked. So this is enough for me and my cameraman for a <laughs> breakfast, for breakfast, lunch and tea. Look at that, breakfast, lunch, tea. Even a burger for a snack if you wanted. That's a decent amount of food. And then you got these two meals here. We could have made another breakfast here. This here is just overboard. But look how much food we still got left. Look at my, look at this food. Didn't use all the carrots and onions, so we've got enough, we've got enough carrots and onions here. We still got seven burgers, we still got half a packet of mints, still got 
enough lentils to feed an army. Still got nearly a kilo worth of berries. Broccoli, we've still got all this bread. Um, you got enough oats here to feed an army. We've still got half a packet of pasta here. We've still got this penne. Still got a whole liter of soya milk for your coffee if you want. I mean, look, all these buns left. This here is gonna, it's, it's a good starting point for 20 quid. Come on, you're gonna probably tell that I'm not a cook. And we just made this. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna get Dan the man. Dan the man to try, maybe he can try the bolognese and a bit of the curry. He knows what oats taste like. Can you, you reckon everyone can see you? Move forward. Move, move here, move here. So Dan the man's the man behind the camera and he's been helping me the editing for the last three months, I'd say, with three months? Yeah, three, three almost months, four. Almost four months, so yeah, Dan's been the man behind the good production value. So what do you think, mate? Dan's from Italy. Obviously. Dan's Italian. Let's have a little taste. Looks, smells amazing. We didn't even use much flavoring in there. Usually we put it, yeah, well, usually we make it taste a little bit better with a bit bigger budget. We'll put different stuff in there, but it's pretty good. Good? It's banger. It's banger? It's really good. I was hell nervous. Huh? <laughs> the mint is insane. Yeah, I like the mint. The mint. Insane. So you got to think like, if you want to put more herbs in there, put more stuff in there, you can take it, make it taste better, obviously. But we're doing nuts and bolts here, 20, 20 quid. And like, I'm not fussy when it comes to my bolognese. Chuck a bit of, yeah? Molto buono. Molto bene. And we've got oh, a bit of broccoli job. on there. Let's, let's try the, um, Dan's going to eat all this, by the way. Let's Good. try the um, curry. What do you think? This is a, I don't know if we could actually, so that's like 12p worth of rice. That's probably about 50p worth of curry. I don't know, about 20p worth of, this is probably, I don't know, that's probably like 60p. Yeah, it's insane. And, and same here, like, you gotta understand, like, if you started to multiply, to if you started to divide this down, you these are like, like, how much is that? The 16p for the, the bun, what's that, about 20p for the patty, like, 5p for the vegetables, like, nothing. These are very cheap, cheap, cheap meals. Try a bit of the curry, this is a uh, nuts and bolts curry, there's... Only salt and pepper in this, bit of curry powder, bit of veggies and bit of lentils. It's my favorite. You like it? It's crazy. How crazy is that? Red lentils. If you had some stock powder in there, it would be even nicer, but you know. It just fills you up, you know? It's nice. You know what you have. Sustainable. Oh, see, gotta love the lentils. Cheap. Protein. Protein. And everyone, everyone there in the last video saying, Oh, uh, you know, it's too expensive, being big is too expensive, look at this, Beyond Burgers are five pounds for two. I know that, I know that, but you can make it cheap if you wanted to. You can make it even cheaper than this if you wanted to take away a couple of these luxury items, like if you wanted to just use the red lentils instead of the mints, but I really like the mints, but you can use red lentils instead. Like, you could really make this nuts and bolts cheap if you if you had to, if you're in a situation where you had to. Um, but there's no excuse for abusing, killing, murdering animals when you can eat this type of food this cheap and it's healthy. So yeah. Peace. No excuse for animal abuse. That's right. We nearly forgot the burger. Mm. Let me taste that patty for a sec. It's good. pretty good. It's not bad. It's not a Beyond Burger, that's for sure. But again, it's only a quid, quid 70 or something. It's pretty good. Pretty damn good. I wouldn't go, but it's awful. It just tastes like a stock standard burger patty, like, you know, like a cheap burger patty. Some people like the cheap taste of the burger patty, so I actually don't like mind it at all. It's good. Boom.